Now, last video, we went over payloads on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager. And I guess you could say I kind of cheated. Now, we kind of just did this by just dragging all the files over from the pager itself. But I feel like a big thing with the pager is the software side of it. And you're supposed to be able to do scripting with it and all that good stuff. And I feel like we didn't really get to do that yesterday. We didn't get a CD. We didn't get to use our root. We didn't get to use our terminal even with the pager using our bash knowledge. So that's really what I want to show you guys today, how to use the terminal and some commands and getting a pager on it, because getting a payload on the pager, because I feel like that's something everybody should do when they first get one. I don't feel like you should just get the pager and then drop all the files on. It's like you need to know how it works, and that's one of the huge things with getting the Wi-Fi pineapple pager to work. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we're on the laptop itself, which can be done by just plugging into the pager, like so. Now, if we go ahead and reload this, go to 172.16.52.1 colon 1471. We're going to be prompted to this page. And this is if you're connected to the Wi-Fi network or if you just want to plug into your pager like I am doing here. Now, this is the virtual pager. We've used it before. I'm not going to go too in-depth on this because that's not what I want to do. But we will know if I come to payloads, okay, and I swear, I come down here to general. Wow, I can't. Such rage bait. I cannot navigate on that. And we come down to general. There is a payload called update payloads. Now, this was to update your whole pager of payloads, themes, all that stuff. But mine doesn't, okay? It runs into an error, and I need to fix this. And this is going to be the same process on any pager. If you guys just want to make your first payload, if you want to upload your first payload, this is just what that's going to be. So we're going to come down to the shell here and like I guess a lot of people get scared when I come to this. They're like, well, I don't, I don't know how to do this. So I'm going to walk you through it. So we're going to CD into our payloads. Now CD is important because that's how you go into different files. So we can do CD payloads. Now that we're in our payloads, we can LS to see what is in here. I want to add a user payload. So I can do CD user LS. And these are the different, I guess, areas of my payloads. We have all the different file systems. But I want to go into general so cd general and then ls and here we're going to see a few different things you have this payload.sh we have update payloads okay and that is what i want to work on right now so we could go ahead and cd into our update payloads and here we could do a nano which is going to take us into the actual payload itself where we could write it and do all that fun stuff and you can see this isn't happening on here, it's just on the laptop. So we can nano the payload.sh. And this is the payload that we have in here. As you can see, it's pretty short. Maybe not. <laughs> Hold up. It's pretty long. And I guess that's just because of all the stuff going on in the pager. When it's going to the GitHub, it's updating itself. And it really just has to do all that stuff. So we're just going to want to get rid of all of this. The alternative is if you're making your own payload, first time you just mkdir and then payload.sh. And that's going to create that file for you. And you can nano payload sh from there. So I'm just going to delete all of this for now. Okay, so here I have my payload, and this is a pretty long one, but it's because it's going to go online. It's going to grab all these different payloads. It's going to update the pager, really. Not the firmware, but all the stuff inside it, like our payloads, themes, ringtones. So, and then we can just paste it right in here. And boom, we are pretty much done now. We can just go ahead and e actually exit our nano shell. Save. Okay, and now we should be ready to go. So we get ls la, it's gonna let us see our payloads and this should be it right here. And from here, if it wasn't yellow like this one is, we could go ahead and C mod or CH mod space X and then payload.sh. So it could be executable and then you'd be good. But if we come up to our pager now and we just want to head over to general. Down, 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 down. And update payloads. Okay, let's see if it works now or if my pager is just cooked. Now, while we're waiting for this, I want to talk about what I'm doing with Arc Labs. Now, if you like this mod that I did to my pager, I'll say 
you're gonna be able to do it. Er, wow, you're gonna be able to get it done for yourself by sending it into Arc Labs, and not only with one antenna, but with one, two, three, four. You may be like Ilya. How? Because we already went over how this area is way too small to fit an antenna. This one goes down to like here. How are you gonna do it? Well, that's for me to know and you to place an order to find out. I'm aiming towards January 12th. You're gonna be able to send your pagers in to get fully modded. You could also get GPS, cases, all this stuff. And I'm ex so excited for you guys to try it out. Uh, let's see, hopefully this finishes soon and I will keep you updated on what is going on with that. And now we got an upgraded pager. That is it for this video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm so excited for you guys to try this out for yourself, as I've just been having so much fun with the pager. And I feel like there's people not giving this thing a try, and you just gotta have one to know. It's, it's a different feeling when you get to actually play around with this. It's lots of fun. So that is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And next video, I'm gonna be at Kel's house. So join in January 2nd for an amazing live with Valley Tech Custom Solutions and moi, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.